What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another one. You guys must not get enough of these uh, Cavalier videos because uh, the universe heard you guys. And it heard you well. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, um, man, do we have problems over here? So, pretty sure as you guys saw in the thumbnail. Um, yeah, the Cavalier's uh, hydraulic clutch line uh, bursted on me. And uh, it bursted on me while I was at work. I was getting ready to go home. And for those of you guys remember, I work about 40, 40 miles away from where I live. So that was a good little adventure to get the car home. And here's the reason for this video, the hydraulic clutch line. So this part goes down by the transmission into the slave cylinder, comes up underneath the battery uh, by the shifter, and then it goes up to the clutch master cylinder. So. This line, it's not its fault for the reason it failed. It's more of a design flaw with the uh, Opel, Saab, or Chevy, whoever designed this car. Um, after 250,000 miles, uh, the shifter, you know, after wearing on it, finally cut through, and it cut through the line. You see how it's fresh right there? It cut through, and the line burst on me, and I had a huge puddle underneath the car, uh, when I went to uh, turn the car on, as you guys can probably see right now, is um, I pushed in the clutch and then it just went bloop, it stayed down. It stayed down so I couldn't uh, get it back up and I had to get a AAA to get me home. Yep, so this is the reason why we're doing it. So the line isn't here yet, the new one. I did order it, so it should be getting here pretty soon. All right, so I apologize that I didn't uh, record the process of taking all the accessories off right here. But uh, if you guys change out your air filter at its interval um, or take off your battery when you need to replace it, you guys should know. But for those of you guys that don't know, you got to do is get a socket to fit this size right here or use a flathead. Unscrew it and it goes right here and it just pops right out. And then uh, if you have the air box in there, this is the top part of the air box. So you're going to have one, two three and four Phillips that you need to unscrew and then there's a wire that goes to the battery all right here so all you got to do to unclip these is just unhook it and lift it up and it'll come out something over here it'll come out and then you get this whole piece off and then as far as the air box you got to get the battery out so unbolt the battery get it out of here uh, mine's over there please excuse the mess and then you pull the battery out and then you get to this part, the fuse box. So the fuse box has a push down pin. It lines up right there. Like this one right here, you just pop it out. And then you're able to, to kind of wiggle this air box around. I'm not sure if it had one over here before, but it doesn't now. So once you get that out, now you're here with the air box. So this piece, at one point or another, used to have a push down pin in and it went right here underneath, I believe. If it went underneath, I believe. Sorry, I'm watching NASCAR too. Hopefully I don't get a strike on it. But, um, so you get that off. And then you see this bracket right here? So let me see if I can get it up here. <clears throat> so more or less, use your imagination. It kind of goes like this. Sorry about that, my son came out. So. Air box is in again. You got those uh, out. So see how it kind of wants to go underneath right here. So what you're gonna do, there is, or what I did, you see this little knob? It goes in there. So what you're gonna do, what I did, is I pushed on this bracket. See, it's kind of, it'll kind of move. You're able to wiggle it out, and it pops the air box out. And it comes out. And there you have it. Oop. My cord got cut. And that's how you get the air box out. Hopefully you guys, it made sense to you guys. So then, to get the line out, it has these little, these little clips. So this big clip goes at the bottom by the slave cylinder. And this one goes up by the clutch master cylinder. So I'll tell you guys a little story about that. So, Underneath, underneath, oh, can't even talk. This piece of plastic is a black knob. You'll see it. 
and this piece goes in about to right here and that clip clips onto right here and you push it down so I gotta do is lift it up and this piece pops out all right easy right the top one by the clutch master cylinder which is in here let me turn the light there is the clutch master cylinder you see the bolt on the left the bolt on the right and then right there is the o-ring clip whatever for uh, this side right here right so this piece goes up into this black piece all right so there was some dude on YouTube that was cool enough to make a video about five years ago to show you got to get that retaining clip out now me I would have never known that this retaining clip is sitting sideways like this on there so it kind of went like this actually it was like this but let me trust my light do you guys see my issue right here what happened yep the clip broke the clip broke inside so when I was trying to pull out the the line it wasn't able to because it was, that other piece of metal was uh, still inside so I was fighting with it fighting with it fighting with it until I finally decided to uh, flip it around and I went in this way and sure enough it shot that broken piece out and it, I was able to get that line out now I don't have the new line in yet I placed an order for it on uh, GM parts direct let me tell you guys they suck I placed the order and then within a couple hours I got an email saying that uh, due to because of the that strike that's going on right now with the automakers that they don't know when the parts gonna come in what I should have done is gone with the first thing and uh, ordered off of Amazon obviously I'm not sponsored by anybody but from now on if I want to get any GM parts I'm gonna get them straight through uh, Amazon <laughs> they seem to be a lot more helpful so tomorrow being Monday I got a call cancel the order to GM parts direct and then uh, I already paid for the the one through Amazon so I should be here on Tuesday so right now we're kind of at a standstill so I'll keep you guys updated three days later yep here we are a few days later uh, part came in as you guys can see from uh, the old one on top and the new one at the bottom see that new one no kind of wear <laughs> the, the old one all chopped up right there new one not so much uh, I want to say same design it looks the same to me I'm kind of on a time crunch it is 10 after 5 and I really need to get this Cavalier running again because this sucker is a gas guzzler I've been taking it to work for two days and man it is killing me on gas it is not <laughs> it is not forgiving the power is there I love I love having the power trust me I do but uh I need fuel economy not power <laughs> all right like I said I am on a time crunch so I got my work light set up got the little clips ready I still haven't gotten the new clip for the top part right there that one but that's gonna have to do because I need this car running again like I said all right let's remove this little plastic I put over the slave cylinder see that's the black thing I was talking about that's where the that headpiece goes let's get the part over here all right hopefully you guys can see that black piece in the back I'm gonna try to run the line underneath right here where it doesn't touch anything that's a moving part from now on kind of route it the same way it went in but making sure that it doesn't touch the shifter anymore let's see can you guys see it see down there let me take the little cap off yeah that's gonna work so you take the cap off oh man I'm really hoping you guys can see what I'm doing here see look it's going in there of course I'll knock you guys over alright so it goes in like this and I'm gonna try to route it hopefully it comes in underneath but it's touching something 
Let me see if I can get it in there. Oh, I'm just afraid of cracking the... Oh, there it goes. I went in. I'm afraid of cracking the slave cylinder. All right. There goes that. So let's get the pin, which is this pin right here. And it went in like this before. But we're going to flip it and go in, in this way. And I hope it catches. Um... All right, if I get it set up, I'll show you guys as I'm pushing in, but I don't want to take it too much of you guys' time. All right, so I tried using the old clip. It didn't go in, and we had disaster, guys. I lost the clip, but I got lucky. This time I put a rag down, and the reason why I tell you guys I got lucky, so obviously this is the new line, right? Let me turn off my flashlight. And here's the old one. The old one has an extra one right there and another one right here. So if that top one on the master cylinder, clutch master cylinder breaks on you or you lose it or whatever, you can scavenge parts off of the old uh, line. I had a uh, help from my oldest son uh, help me get it in this time. So now the line is in. Now let's do the other side. So the other side, like I told you guys, is right here. Oops, sorry. I'm gonna move the cover. Goes like that. And I did order another clip, uh, but I ordered it from ZZP. But I think the clip, it's like a, it's like this one, a big one. I don't need the big one. I need the small one like this one. But luckily, I have the old line, and I was able to get it in. Let me see if I can clip this one in. So you have to line this up to this and it should go in. We gotta be really careful. I don't wanna break anything. There we go. It's going in. All right, so it went in, but I'm gonna need two hands. I need to push it in and then clip it down. So I'll show you guys when I'm done. All right, and here it is all clipped in. Sorry, my hands are all shaky from me pushing. So uh, simultaneously, you gotta push this forward in and then push the clip down and it should grab. Now, I gotta try the clutch. The clutch. Uh, the reservoir is empty, I had to empty it out, so I need to put some more, uh, uh, what is it, uh, manual clutch fluid in it. And I'll take you guys in the car and we'll try it out right now. So it's the next day. I, uh, like I said, I installed the, the line. I cracked open that little valve right there to bleed it out. That one right there. Kept pressing it, but the pedal would not come up. As you can see. Nothing's leaking right there from the clutch master cylinder. And thank God nothing is leaking from the slave cylinder. But, um, kept pressing the, the clutch pedal down. Yeah, not too good, guys. Not good at all. It's still, uh, still staying down. So from what I've been reading online, that could be a bad master clutch cylinder. So we're gonna have to change that out next. Got it from uh, Advanced Auto Parts. I'm praying that's the issue and it's not the slave cylinder. That's really gonna suck. And that goes beyond uh, any of uh, my basic beginner uh, mechanic work that I do. I mean, I don't do any mechanic work. Obviously, you guys know I do this strictly for fun. Well, this right now is necessity, but for fun, mainly. So, ah, uh, yeah, man. After all the struggles with this line, I gotta take that clip off again. All right, so I got the clip out again. Guys, I cannot emphasize enough Please, please be careful with the clip when you got to pulling it out. Again, I lost this clip. Yeah, I know. I know what you guys are saying right now. Big old dummy. I ended up putting the cap on this one right here. Or the, the original cap. When it came in, that way it doesn't get messed up. As I'm changing out the, the clutch master cylinder. Now, you're going to have to use a uh, deep socket. I'm using a quarter inch, uh, quarter inch half inch uh, socket to get it out. But I'm not too worried about the clip because 
the new one comes with the clip already in it. Now I am going to have to be very, very, very careful when I'm uh, installing this one in. Alright, I'm going to go underneath the, the driver's seat and I'm going to kind of try to show you guys how to remove this right here. I actually don't really know how to do it myself. I asked a person at a uh, at uh, whatchamacallit, Advanced Auto Parts, and they told me that they did not know how these uh, these types of uh, brackets are removed. So I'm gonna try to use a screwdriver and pop it out. We'll see. All right, so out of the car, I'm gonna show you guys more or less how I'm gonna uninstall this uh, clutch master cylinder from my firewall. So it's underneath right there. There's a the clutch. It's gonna be directly above. Excuse me, I'm messing the car. So this is how it kind of sits in the firewall. So you guys kind of saw where the bolts sit right here and on the other side over here. And up in here, underneath, is where the this piece is at in the clutch master cylinder. Let me see if I can uh, get you guys uh, an eagle eye view. See, um, I think, up oh, there it is. You guys see the little bellow? Let me see if I can zoom in. You guys see the bellow right there from the clutch master cylinder and there's that little black piece and on the bracket to the clutch there is like a little it's like a little flat head thing that I'm gonna have to probably use a screwdriver somewhere like right here or right here and try to pop it out it looks like it's able to pop out look it looks like it clips in somehow right here with this sorry one hand right here and right here it clips on, so I'm gonna try to pop it out like that. Uh, wish me luck. All right, so here we are back at the bench with the old one and the new one. Sorry, my my hands kind of got the new one dirty. I see no difference as far as uh, uh, feeling of it. I mean, they both go in and out. The new one does sound like it has like a little more suction to it than the old one, but um, so I'm gonna tell you guys. Uh, a really crude way of how I I got it out from underneath let me move this one out of the way too so it won't get dirty so here underneath the car or underneath the driver's seat uh, the driver doors over here here's the clutch pedal obviously it goes that way right on the top there's like a little this over exaggerated uh, drawing of like a little it's like a circle but like a T if you're looking at it from the front and the way I got it off was um, you see on the on the new one, it has a uh, come on now. It has these two little this one right here and the one at the bottom. There's little teeth, and um, that little T. This part goes over, and those teeth right there, they clip underneath. Now the way I got it out was um, I used a a little L pick that I have, and I lifted this one up. And I picked it up and then uh, I pushed the clutch pedal in as you can see it kind of has like a little groove so that little a little circle T can uh, just slide out so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go install this one back in the car and slide it back in so hopefully it works several long days later so it's the following weekend I think I last left off was uh, Monday or Tuesday uh, yeah, I got the clutch master cylinder in, and uh, there it is. Set it away. All buttoned up. There's one bolt, and then the second bolt's behind that wiring harness. I think you guys can kind of see it right there. Yeah, I got it in. But, still didn't fix the issue. I bled the bleeder, and it didn't work sure it's going to tilt too long because uh, it'll start leaking so we'll put that there for now yeah it didn't work guys so went to try it again and um, yeah the clutch master the clutch pedal stop calling it clutch pedal still stay down yep I don't know what to do at this point I don't know what to do. I mean, look guys, I can't win them all. We all can't win them all. 
I mean, we're what? Uh, two for three. First was what the the alternator. We were able to do it ourselves. We got it done, right? Bam. Uh, second issue we had with what the battery. I don't think I put a video up on the battery because I mean you guys know how to change out a battery. That was my second thing that I was able to win, and I can't win them all. So I think it's the slave cylinder. Like I told you guys before, I am no mechanic. I do this for fun. I know I sound like a broken record, but I do. You know, this is just for fun, for entertainment for me, but this is my daily driver. So this kind of put me a, a little bit hard pressed to try to get this fixed. So today being Saturday, October 21st, I called the mechanic shop, not the mechanic shop, I called the transmission shop, the one who fixed the Blazer's transmission for me uh, last July. And it's been running, you know, really good ever since. Knock on wood, it keeps going. Um, so I trust that that transmission shop, Dennis, he's going to take good care of me and take care of this transmission. Uh, I'm just going to have the clutch replaced while he's there. So he's going to replace the clutch and the slave cylinder and whatever else he needs to do. I think also the fluid. Um, he really quoted me a good price, a lot lower than I thought it was going to be. But uh, yeah, I mean, like I said, guys. I can't win them all. I did try my best. And I don't know why this gave me so much anxiety at first. But then uh, once I called him, we talked it over. Uh, yeah. We're going to get it done on Monday, hopefully. I got to go drop it off at the shop. So <laughs> I'm going to use my third toe for the year on uh, AAA to get this car over there. And hopefully get it all sorted out. So I did get this line in. And as you can see right there, and it's all clipped in. Now, so I don't have this issue again where it's rubbing, where I was telling you guys, where it was rubbing on the old line right here. For whatever reason, this little block on the shifter was just wearing on it. It wore it out. Oh, well, if anybody needs the part number to the to this line, and there it is, guys. 89060003. So I got it from, it's a genuine GM part from Amazon. Do you believe that? Yeah, better than uh, GM Parts Direct. I um, ended up zip tying it here. I don't know if the transmission shop's gonna cut it off when they take it out, but whatever. If they do, I'll just have to zip tie it again, but there's clearance in here, neath here now. Do 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 do. can't even talk. There's clearance there, clearance. So hopefully this line won't get cut anymore. And this car that has 240 thousand miles or 250,000 miles can give me another 250,000 <laughs> I know it's a far stretch but like I told you guys you maintain anything it'll keep running forever now I've been driving this sucker for a whole week let me tell you gas guzzler I love it though I don't you know some people stare at me on the freeway kind of give me a thumbs up had a couple other imports uh well, not that this is an import I had some imports try to like rev at me and race me. Guys, I'm 41 years old. I don't do that no more. I would love to. But I love this car too much to do anything stupid. To wreck it. Or get it taken away from me. But yeah. That's it. Since I wasn't able to fix the, the Cavalier myself, I'm going to see if I can do maybe like a time lapse video. Of me putting the, the Cavalier back together. Or, I don't know if I want to do a time lapse. I don't know if some of you guys need help. Uh, we'll need help putting it back together. Um, ah, what the hell. We'll, we'll see. We'll work it out. Um, we'll do a little bit of both. We'll do a time lapse and then we'll explain it after what we did. Just so you guys can see. Because I'm a visual learner. And sometimes I hate when people like rush through the videos or they don't show how to get put together. And I've done that before and I've had somebody call me out on it. Alright, alright. That'll be the last time I talk about that. Sorry, I did not put the clip in on the door handle, whatever your name was. Sorry, out of all the parts to it, I skipped that one part, but it was common sense. <laughs> oh, one other thing before I get started. I don't know the torque specs to the, the clutch master cylinder, so I just hand tightened it. Not hand tightened it, you know, I kind of gave it a couple cranks on it, tightened it down where I felt it was snug. Because uh, when they came off, they weren't too tight. They were kind of loose, so 
you know, use that for whatever you want, that information. And yeah, let's get started. Alright, I can't set up a tripod because uh, my last one uh, took a shit on me, so I kind of got the airbox in. Remember I was telling you guys down here? See, I got this line right there. This piece kind of goes underneath that other roasted out bracket. And I kind of came in sideways with this piece going in first, and then I gave it the old angle of a dangle. And then remember I was telling you guys that, oh, another thing, be careful. Oh, unlike me with the reservoir, I gotta pull it out again. The reservoir has a line on it and you don't wanna break that. Oh shoot, right back. Okay, so I pulled the reservoir from the other side of that big wire harness. This one right here, I brought it through from underneath and brought it around because I forgot how it routes. Another thing guys, please take pictures when you get it taking stuff apart and you guys don't remember so you're not like me, kind of figuring things out. All right. And then there's that little nub that I told you I need to go in here. Man. To get it in, it's gonna be a little bit tighter than, uh, than bark on the tree to push it in, but I was able to slot it in, locked in that rate. And then down here again, I know I keep talking about this bottom piece for whatever reason, but I kind of feel like it's super important. You see now the air box kind of lines up to the other one where it sucks in cool air from the outside. Um, I know I should have probably cleaned the inside of the air box better, but that'll be for another time. And then that, this harness right here, it's not really caught up on anything. I think that's how it was before. And um, yeah, look at that, still. Not in the way of anything. Thank goodness. And then down there, which you probably can't see anymore, it's gonna be the clutch master cylinder. But there's a line, be really careful with it. There's a little slot right here where this catches and it locks in. Did you hear it? It clocked, it clocked, it clicked in. It clicked in guys, come on. English, English Danny. All right. Before we uh, put the air filter in, start, start locking everything down. Let's uh, clip this piece back in there. So here's the air filter. I already washed it and I cleaned it. <whistles> nice and clean. Now it is not a k and &N. It is a factory, oh, I already got dirty. A factory Spectre. Yeah. Got it a long time ago. Through, guess what? I think it was the Amazons. Uh, if you guys need it for your uh, Cavalier or Sunfire, there is the part number, Spectre HPR3916. All right, let's lock it in right there. Nice and washed, clean element filter. Factory Canon wannabe. All right, let's go look for that push down pin. Hopefully we didn't lose it. Bam. Bam. Fuse box secure. I don't know if this one Need one. I know I have some, but I don't see where you can put it in. And this over here again. Last time I talked about it, guys. I'll figure something out. I might have to get this uh, <clears throat> this uh, battery tray out because of all that rust. And I'll have to sand it down. Either I'll get some red paint again or I'll just paint it black. Skadoosh. I bet some of you guys for thought I forgot about the battery tie down, huh? <laughs> Done. All right, guys, before I forget, I did get the part in from ZZP. Uh, here's the part number if you guys need it. And it is the small clip. I was wrong, guys. But um, obviously, I don't need the small clip. 
it came with the the new, the new uh, clutch master cylinder but if you guys ever need the clip lose it um you guys can order it from ZZP or you guys can source it from that part number or yeah um so obviously i'm not going to need this part right now but it's good to know that it's still available out there and today is saturday october 21st 2023 if anybody needs it um i'll sell it to you yeah i won't charge you the 16 dollars like zzp charged me um i'll give it to you for a better price i guarantee you guys i won't charge you 11 dollars shipping for it but yeah um that being said for today's date um yeah if you guys are watching this like five six years from now i doubt anybody will have these cars by then <laughs> i probably still have this car but if you guys need it by then um yeah good luck guys so for the next four or five months if you guys want it let me know we'll work something out cool so there's my uh, hybrid uh uh time lapse slash how to put the car back together a uh, little segment that i did for you guys hopefully you guys understood how to put the things back together in the car so i went from uh showing you guys where the clutch master cylinder is at in the back to where the hydraulic line is at and where it connects to on both ends um what else uh, i showed you guys how to put the bottom part of the air box in how i put this part in right there and into the little nub and how it connects to the bottom of the tray down there and after that, I put in my uh, Spectre Canon style factory air filter after I washed it back into the car, the top part of the air box, how to clip these in, uh, how to tie these down with the screwdriver, how to lock down the battery, and uh, yeah, right there, battery tie down, and how to uh, bolt the battery back together. I, I don't know if you're supposed to go negative to positive, positive to negative. I think it's always been not, uh, negative first and then positive. But yeah. Alright guys, so the next step for this poor car is uh, come Monday it's going to go to a shop. So this video, I don't know if it's pointless to some of you guys. Hopefully it helps some, of you, some people out there more or less how to do at least change out the the clutch master cylinder or the line um i don't know how to do the clutch i mean the slave cylinder but now you guys saw sort of more or less how to do it hopefully it helps some of you guys out there and hopefully it was entertaining to most of you guys out there i know you guys really don't watch the cavalier videos but i am going to document anything i do to my cars including the cobalt after uh driving it for about a week and some days it does have its opportunities. The only thing I'm worried about right now, guys, is, you guys see, I think I've talked about it before, the passenger side wheel, it's perfectly kind of aligned with the fender right there. And then on the driver's side, it's kind of, uh, kind of leaning over. Let's go back kind of leaning over a little bit ah, you guys can't see it um yeah it's kind of leaning over so i'm not sure if that's going to cause wear on the tire when i took it to the alignment shop the guy told me it would not wear on it but who knows maybe you guys might know drop a comment in the bottom and let me know um yeah so that's going to do it for this video sorry it wasn't the victory that we all thought we were going to get with the Cavalier. But hopefully at least you guys found the entertainment. Alright guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.